Hi, I'm John Ludy, and these are the retail products of my discontent. So, a little bit about me. My website is johnludi.com. I'm a musician and writer who lives more or less off-grid in the woods of Wisconsin. And if you want to know about the music that I make, I have a Bandcamp site. Please visit it. And if you like the stuff, buy some. It helps fund my projects. Um, and uh, I do, along those lines, have a GoFundMe site going on right now, so please visit that if you see anything of redeeming value in what I do. Um, all right, <laughs> what do we have on this table here? Uh, living off-grid, uh, there are various things that I have, uh, I have uh, accumulated in my yurt as uh, basic essential living slash survival equipment, and some of them have worked. And some of them haven't. And this is all kind of, you know, a lot of it is in the you get what you pay for uh, category. But at the same time, I've noticed um, over the years that the quality control of even expensive products has gone by the wayside. So um, <laughs> it seems that uh, if I spend uh, 10, 20 percent more, the products that I buy last maybe 5 percent longer. So let's get started here um <laughs> the bulky things first two radiant heaters um one that didn't work out so well and one that works like a dream the um this one if i recall i bought from menards a few years ago and there's nothing on there, maybe intentionally, that really gives any kind of identification. There's a, a little electronic guy that says uh, J-I-N-H-E Electric China. Uh, but that may only be this little guy right there. I don't recall the brand, but uh, there's a few identifying characteristics. It's screw-on is this kind of... Uh, flowery knobby thing um this you know it wasn't hugely efficient i found it turned off randomly for no good reason at all lighting it at times took forever because it would not stay on but the biggest quandary that i had with this was that this knob which uh not appearing in this picture it fell apart really fast it became uh, increasingly difficult to turn, so I had to leave it in the low position uh, for about a year when I was using it. It did its job, but it did it really, you know, pretty poorly until it ultimately just the knob fell apart and I couldn't put it back together again. And you know, so I got a couple years of really unsatisfactory service out of it. But then I got this one, and this one also doesn't seem to have much of a name attached to it, uh, except this on its little card. It does say Akaru Industries, A-K-E-R-U Industries in Antioch, Illinois. Uh, really happy with this one so far. First of all, the knob is not nearly as, um, as uh, cantankerous as the one on the other unit. This guy right here is just a few screws on, so it's... Um, doesn't take forever. For all I know, these may be made by the same manufacturer. It's just they vastly improve things over two years. But this one is highly efficient. This this thing on the low setting, it seems like it just takes forever to go through a uh, uh, thing of propane. So, uh, And this is a very important item for me in my living situation because my yurt does not really hold heat. So sometimes I come home or wake up to 10 degrees in here. And I'll kick this sucker on for about 10 minutes while I start the fire. So it's kind of almost indispensable. Truly not, you know, not truly off-grid um, because you always have to rely on propane. But still, it's been kind of a lifesaver for me. So it's really crucial for me that something like this works. And this particular one does. The screw-on knob is, you know, it looks like that. Um, so... There it is. I can't remember exactly where I got this. I hate to say it. Might have been Walmart. Uh, but there you go. So, other kind of twosies here. 
Single burner camp stoves. Well, <laughs> uh, I have the one that I'm using now by Ozark Trail, and I'm really happy with it. it um, it's got a knob that doesn't have, you know, low, medium, high. It just kind of attenuates. Uh, works great. I'm really happy with it. I was less happy with this Coleman, which seemed to have, you know, it had staggered settings, but really the only two that were at all useful for me were the low and the not low. <laughs> and low was basically what I called the sputter setting. It would work for a little while and it would eventually sputter out, filling the air with gas if I wasn't paying attention. The setting right after that was the uh, oh my god, everything's on fire setting, and everything after that was pretty much incendiary. So, the Coleman didn't work too well for me. I was not, um, in my opinion, not as good a unit as the Ozark uh, Trail one. Uh, and <laughs> I came back to this after trying another unit, which unfortunately I no longer have, but it was a very red square unit that actually exploded on me. So if you see something that looks like that, you probably don't want to buy it, and I'm lucky I have anything resembling a face attached to my skull after that whole episode. So, um, this guy right here, this is a Primo water pump that I had actually picked up at a uh, garage sale, all packaged and everything. So for all I know, maybe they've improved this thing. Because basically, I bought this as I'm going on a bit of a road trip. And I wanted to have water on my road trip, logically enough. And I wanted some nice sizable dispensers so I didn't have to fill up a jug every, every twice a day. So I got one of these big honking things. And since I had the Primo pump already, well, the pump lasts about a third of the jug, and then it just kind of goes hiss, hiss, hiss. It doesn't really seem to work much after that. So then I got to strong arm this thing and, you know, pour it by, pour it manually into a whatever I need to pour it into. And so, not really happy with the Primo water pump, and I hope that they've improved that or that that was just some kind of factory blem. Um, this was really disappointing. I go to Harbor Freight a fair amount, and I really like the store, um, but uh, <laughs> I wasn't happy with these. They're made by Chicago Electric, and I've bought three of these power inverters. Again, I have a solar setup, and power inverters are extremely important to me, as well as you know driving around. Um, each one of the ones that I have gotten, all three of them, the third one not appearing in this picture, it's somewhere in my storage unit, they just stopped working. They just stopped. I don't know why. It made me sad. Lost my power. Uh, a much better, in my opinion, unit is this Duracell. I don't know if they still make these. And as is the way of good products, <laughs> that often happens. Uh, I find something just wonderful and it just kind of goes away. So these Duracell ones, I've um, got a couple of them, and they're basically bulletproof. And the one time one did uh, go, because I was stupid enough to reverse polarity, just, uh, you know, changed the fuse. I cracked it open, and there was a fuse, and I changed it. Um, it's got, unlike these Chicago electric ones, it does have a digital readout on it, and it'll let you know the wattage uh, left in your, uh, the voltage left in your battery. So, pretty cool thing, and um, been happy with it so far. I've had the, this thing a lot longer than I had these, and this works for me. <laughs> the last thing, you know, kind of an odd thing for a vegetarian to have, but, um, and I'm not a gun guy, even though I do own one. Um, I am not a gun person, but I am a self-defense person. I believe very strongly in the right to defend yourself. Uh, and in a culture where people have merely harsh words, that's harsh words. Where they have knives, it's knives. Where they have guns, sadly, it's guns. And um, I only own one, and I'm pretty good with it, but it's not something that I drool over. Uh, and I hope never to have to use it. This I bought just kind of for fun and to learn how to shoot things, quiet things. 
And even though I'm a vegetarian, there was this thought in mind that at some point in time, I may have to actually uh, eat an animal. So I picked this thing up um, I don't know, about three years ago. And it was really interesting. The thing uh, has a lot of force to it. But it um, um, eventually all the little screws that hold various aspects of it together uh, just kind of went away. They uh, seemed unhappy with their current employment and sought employment on the floor, uh, hiding in some obscure area. So now the thing is essentially useless. It's all just kind of falling apart on me and um, won't work. So, and this is made by uh, Cobra system. So again, in my opinion, I don't know, it was kind of a neat thing, but all the bits that held together all the other bits decided to no longer do what they were designed to do. So there it is. Hopefully I rattled all that off pretty quickly. These, um, you know, and this is all my opinion, and for all I know, every single one of these may have been a factory blem. Maybe I was misusing them. Uh, this is my way of saying, dear manufacturers, don't sue me. This is my opinion. Um, and this is a review. So that's about it there. Uh, hopefully this won't be an ongoing series, but I figured I've got this stuff lying around and I kind of wanted to clean it all up and <laughs> put it somewhere where it wouldn't get in my way. So I just wanted to get this video done uh, at this juncture and hopefully over the next year or so I won't accumulate more things that cause me acute displeasure. So there we are. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.